Wow. Michelle Bachman is 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 she channeling Joe McCarthy? Or is there a real threat represented by the fact that the woman who is the assistant chief of staff to Hillary Clinton, our secretary of state, and also the uh, Huma is also uh, Huma Abedin and also the wife of uh, former Congressman uh, Anthony Weiner, that uh, sh- her father, who is now dead, was friends with somebody who was part of an organization that was affiliated with somebody who had apparently some ties to somebody that was associated with a group that was known to be affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood. And given all that, the Muslim Brotherhood right now is like, you know, their candidate just won the presidency of Egypt. I think there are allies. I'm more concerned, frankly, with the Paul Ryan. You know, the, the Swiss banks were big handlers of Nazi money during World War II, and there's still a lot of Nazis out there. Two of Paul Ryan's top 20 contributors are not even American corporations. They're Swiss banks. Is Paul Ryan a secret Nazi? Let's find out. Ryan Morrow is with us. He is a national security analyst with RadicalIslam.org. RadicalIslam.org. Well, I, yeah, I just said it. That's the website. Hey, Ryan, what's up? Hey, thanks for having me on. So do we have more to worry about Huma being a secret? Well, she's not a secret Muslim, a secret Muslim um, daughter of father who's a friend of um, somebody who once knew a ter- somebody that became a terrorist? Or do we have more to worry about Paul Ryan getting money from banks that bankrolled Hitler? Well, first of all, uh, this accusation about the Muslim Brotherhood operating in the United States in general is proven. We know that from the Muslim Brotherhood's own documents. We've arrested Brotherhood agents that have worked with the federal government in the past. So there is precedent for this. Uh, now, the question that Michelle Bachman and the others were asking was how Huma Abedin was able to get a security clearance when three of her close relatives are tied to the Muslim Brotherhood, with her mother actually being a senior leader in the Muslim Sisterhood, which is the, the counterpart to the oh, Muslim Brotherhood. Oh, the, the humanity. I'm, well, I, I'm, I, we believe I'm just, that the Muslim I'm, Brotherhood is a very insidious organization. I am what she's so frightened. Not saying is that she's a terrorist or necessarily a Muslim Brotherhood agent, but these type of fem- family ties are taken into account in the security clearance process. Ryan, Ryan, she, she, Huma went through a uh, you know, I mean, to become the number two person to the Secretary of State, you have to go through a substantial background check. But even beyond that, we had last year thirty five hundred Americans died from food poisoning. I mean, we have we are we lose more people every year to gun violence. We lose more people every year to food poisoning. We lose we lo- we lose ten times more people every year to to drunk drivers than we've lost in the worst year in the last three decades to terrorists. I don't understand why you guys are so frantic and paranoid and panicked about you know e- even Muslims who hate us because they're not particularly effective at us. I mean, when the IRA was going after after the British. And blowing up bombs in London every two or three weeks I almost killed Maggie Thatcher. They blew up the building right next to her. The response of, of England was not, oh, no, we're going to be afraid. The response was, let's sit down and negotiate with these people. The IRA is now a political party in Parliament. Well, first of all, you can't uh, negotiate with the Muslim Brotherhood when, by their own documents, uh, goal uh, that's written in their own documents is the destruction of Western civilization from within. They oh, come on! For work in the United States, and the IRA's yeah, goal was ending was though. was ending Protestant Christianity. I, I, come, you know, even even if what you're saying is true, do you re- are you really that frightened of these people? I don't believe that they're going to hijack the U.S. government and conquer us, but I think that's enough. Then to what are you afraid of? Absolutely. Look, do you, do you believe that hateful ideologies and ideologies like this need to be countered? I do. I, I, I absolutely it do. It's one it of the reasons why I think that, you know, when, when uh, Mitt Romney came out and said that, that Barack Obama was beha- behaving like a foreigner, you know, we both, you and I both, though, that's dog whistle for, you know, hey, he, he doesn't look like, uh, you know, somebody who should be in the White House. Uh, it, uh, yeah, I think that hateful ideologies have been very destructive in this country. They're, you know, they, we, we have a long history of, of, of lynchings and murders. And, and I mean, just, just a couple of days right, ago, there was, there was a, 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 a lesbian homegrown woman who was carved up by a, with a guy. Brotherhood ideology. I beg your pardon? And homegrown Islamic terrorism grows from the Muslim Brotherhood ideology. I am not afraid of them. 
Well, you may not, but you should definitely be concerned enough about them to want to combat them and be concerned with someone think... who has three relatives that work with them that's in the State Department. She may be a perfectly fine lady, but it's perfectly legitimate to say, I want to know if no, this it's is not. taken into account in the security no, it's not. process. No, sure. it's not. It's, this is dog whistle politics. This is, this is, this is all about Obama, Barack Obama having a funny name that Hussein is in the middle of, being the black guy in the White House, and how can we paint him with, with anything... Yeah, well, you know, he works for her Secretary of State. She works for his Secretary of State. And you know me. what? Those same type of Muslim Brotherhood tied organizations also operated under the Bush administration. So it's not about accusing... What is your worst president. fear, Ryan? Apparently, you know, obviously this keeps you up in the middle of the night. What is it that wakes you up in the middle of the night? Uh, I would say Islamists taking over uh, the Middle East, critical regions overseas. and Islamists already the run the Middle East. Here in the United States. Are you familiar with, with Saudi Arabia? Yes. That, that's actually I mean, where a lot of that's ground Saudi central for Wahhabism. They're our ally. We put them into power. We've been supporting them since 1931. Right, and that is a huge problem. And I, I think that that's good that you raise that. But keep in mind that the Saudi Muslim, the Saudis and the Muslim Brotherhood are tied at the hip, and that they set up the Muslim World League, and that's the organization and the that the Saudis are sitting on a part of. So when a, you raise the issue this, of Saudi sponsorship of radical Islam, you are talking about the very issue that Michelle Bachman has raised. <laughs> No, I'm not. What, sure what Michelle Bachman has raised is there might be something funny going on inside that Obama, that Hussein Obama she administration. Never said that. She never we, said that. Listen, I know dog whistle politics when I hear it. And, Give, me and, Give me a quote where Michelle Bachman said Barack Obama is a Muslim or a secret Muslim or something like that. She, that's that's why it's called dog whistle politics because you don't say it out loud. You just do like Ronald Reagan did in 1980 after he got nominated to be the the Republican candidate for president. The first speech he ever gave as the official Republican candidate for president was in a little town of 6,000 people. Now, why would he go to a little town of 6,000 people? The nearest airport is hours away. Why would he go to that little town? Because that little town was Philadelphia, Mississippi, where in 1964, three civil rights workers were murdered by the KKK. It's the only thing it's famous for. And what oh, was his so speech about? You're, his, you're speech, the mind his speech of was Bachman. about you're states' the same rights. Thing you're accusing Michelle Bachman of. I, I am suggesting that Michelle Bachman and Mitt Romney and the entire uh, large chunks of the Republican machine this year have decided nakedly that the only way they can win, they can't talk about e the economy, they can't talk about policy, that what they have to do is talk about Obama is different, he's foreign, he's, he's, uh, he's weird. He's, hey, have you noticed he's African-American? Uh, oh, come his, on. They have no, no, that his dad was a Muslim. He's a secret Muslim. The race card on Barack Obama. They have never once said, oh, well, he's black and you should vote against him for that. You, you're playing a, a again, very sick dog game whistle. You jump inside their minds and you say that they have racist motivations. You yes. Should, you should prove that right now. I do say that. I All am right, asserting correct. that. I am absolutely asserting that. And, I, and, and for the record, I don't stay up at night worrying about Muslims. I mean, they did their best on 9-11, and they still didn't kill as many of us as food poisoning kills every year. I don't, I don't understand why you guys best. are so that was frightened. That Al-Qaeda's best. I beg your pardon? That was Al-Qaeda's best. That, and by the way, you said you're not worried about... Well, Al-Qaeda grew out of the Muslim the Brotherhood. Muslims either. I'm worried about the Islamists, the extremist element that need to be fought with with Muslims who don't believe in that type of ideology. If you fight them, you feed them. That, that's not necessarily true. I, I don't believe that. The so best, way to, the best be way to neutral? beat these people is to laugh at them. You can, you can mock them, but you have to counter the ideology. You have to support those that stand against them. And how, the do you ideology how do you counter what? You say, mean. you know, Islam's a phony religion. Is that your counter? Islam? No, I, would not, I am not attacking Islam as a whole. All right. I, 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 I think we've gone through this. Uh, Ryan Morrow, uh, RadicalIslam.org is the website, National Security Analyst. Ryan, thanks for dropping by today. Thank you. Good talking with you.